So, it has begun. I'm Mark Stewart. This is the Daily Fire for May 4th. This is the first of probably a few letters inviting me, because I'm a Democrat, aiming for the primaries in Connecticut for governor, to be on stage with other Democrats and other Republicans for debates. Even if I did make the threshold to primary, it's actually unlikely, but if I did, I would like to see other parties represented. They're not doing that. It's once again, only Democrats, only Republicans. That's a shame. Because those who are following into that still very restricted pair miss out on what we call unaffiliated. Most people call them independents, but I want to tell you, registrations by voter, it's the unaffiliated that have 40% of Connecticut votes. That's more than the Democrats. They've got 37.6%, more than Republicans by far, 21.5%. Keep that number in your mind or in your wallet, because I'm going to wager something. This year, in the governor race, there will be more than 21.5%, more than re registered Republicans, voting for non-major party candidates. And it makes sense. Connecticut needs an injection from outside the major parties. I'll be one. I'll be on the Amigo Party's line. They are going to be nominating me as one of the unaffiliated candidates. There's a good crop. And ask most commentators. They will say that the better ideas actually come from the more independent candidates. So people should be listening. And people like Mark, Oz, Monty, Micah, Marissa, lots of M's, deserve the hearings so that voters have the full panoply of ways to help Connecticut. If one of us is elected, almost certainly it's the best message that will change Connecticut more dramatically. None of us unaffiliated people have ties that make us have to kiss up to groups. We really can get things done because the power of potentially 51% voting for an unaffiliated, it's huge. Same old, same old is not going to impel the significant change we need. When people sign my petition to be on the ballot as an Amigo Party candidate, a lot of times they say, good, we need more voices. When people don't sign, sometimes they leave with a, I'm disgusted with the system of just two parties. And they're right. So I want to thank the commentators who have put independent candidates forward in front of the population. Colin McEnroe, Jeff Jacobs, Matthew Ormseth, Max Reese, Russell Blair, Todd Feinberg, Vinnie Peck. You guys are heroic. And those who continue to neglect strong, serious contenders for governor, even though they're outside the two-party system, you're going to look horrible. I mean, to many of us, you already do. You've missed it. You missed Bernie Sanders. Where did he come from? And some of you missed because as of three years ago, almost everyone dismissed, because the media thought less of him, our current president, Donald Trump. Good ideas and a lot of good vigor come out of beyond the two parties out there. We don't have to kiss up to groups. We're not constrained by party orthodoxy. Listen to the mainstream candidates. They don't allow themselves to be put on a limb. They're thoughtful. They could be out there and express a lot of more provocative things. They won't. We will. So I hope more reporters will be open-minded enough. You'll get more listeners because of it, and you'll be helping Connecticut. I am Mark Stewart, Democrat candidate, Amigo Party candidate. Look us up at WeResist.us. Thanks for listening.